at it again every day. I'll try to do it forever. But uh me trying to search out, you know, the best way possible to live. I came across some things that's uh pretty interesting. Uh that we kind of dismiss for whatever reason, maybe because you know how how we um, uh, really want to be taught. I know we read Jeremiah when we talk about the pastors and and how the people wanted pastors that you know taught the things that they want to talk talk about the things they want to hear, but not necessarily the truth. And uh, when I read Jeremiah, now, you know, back then, I used to apply it to everybody outside of my, my, uh, my, my, my culture, uh, my nation, you know, and my belief, and my belief. So I used to apply that to the people outside of that. I mean, I used to apply that to everybody who wasn't Israelites. But now when I read Jeremiah, when it's called the pastors dirty, for, for triggering people, and you know, and, and, and when Isaiah talk about the people wanting, wanting to, uh, you know, be around the pastors and the teachers that that speak on the things that they want to hear, you know, Jeremiah, you know, they they wanted to be deceived because it was it was a lot easier to accept what they had to do, uh, and I'm saying like um, you know, things that uh that's being taught is not necessarily logical a lot of things we just you know deal with it because we want to or we see everybody else doing it and we don't really second guess it we assume that our teachers are 100 percent genuine and in a lot of cases from the scripture uh, a lot of the teachers was off. More of the teachers was off. That was the reason why we was falling. Because the teachers was teaching people stupid stuff. We wasn't teaching them the law of the most high. They got caught up in their pride. They got caught up in the money they could make. They got caught up in their prestige. So I think, you know, with that comes a lot of uh, irrational things. Things that throw logic out the door for uh, for whatever reason, whatever personal gain that person may have. Whatever personal gain that person may have. And, uh, whatever goals they're trying to accomplish. So they're going to perpetuate this, this idea that's not even logical. There's nowhere you can find this nowhere on earth in reality. I'm not saying that the uh, the majestic things and the uh, uh, the magical, so to speak, the spiritual things is all right. The spiritual things that we read can't come true, like in the book of Exodus, where you know the scriptures say people was led by a cloud in the day and a pillar of fire by night. It's something that may be hard to believe, but I got a video up where hundreds of people witnessed it. I mean, it was on the ground. It didn't float it up. But, uh, you can look at, it's on my, uh, on my Facebook. It's a cloud. It's just a, a cloud. I mean, I don't know what they call these clouds. It's not an uncommon phenomenon, but these clouds are very personal. <laughs> they come down and uh, you can touch them. They they have their own state of mind. They can do whatever they want to do. So, you know, stuff like that does happen. But I'm talking about things. And plus, with, with camcorders today, you can see a lot of stuff that people wouldn't believe, necessarily believe. And then they see them on video and still don't believe it. So you can't convince everybody. But, uh, um, yeah, a lot of these things, though, that we kind of throw logic out and it don't apply 
to the common sense world. I mean, a lot of things. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even speak on a lot of them because, like I say, I'm into. I'm into nation building, not debating whether or not what you believe. Because whether you believe it or not, it really ain't gonna stop them. Still, uh, you know, it won't hit your salvation or nothing like that. In most cases. So, I, mean, I don't care what you really believe. As long as at the end of the day, you looking at this thing like, uh, yeah, we gotta get about this condition. We gotta show the whole world how to be righteous. So if that's your overall, you know, plan, then I don't care what you believe. You can believe the Anunnaki is the angels, I don't care. But uh, if that don't spill down into your reality as a as a teaching to the to the people, then you know you can you can believe that. You can go home, read all the books you want to believe on it. When it's time to do business, I expect you to leave that and knock your doctrine at the creator. But uh but yeah, so you know, logic man. Use logic when you're thinking about stuff. And the one thing, you know, I, that I can talk about is the whole Israel thing being in Africa. Use your logic. You know, where is it? Then? Is it in Africa or is it in the Middle East? Either way, it's it's not it's not not it's not nowhere. So <laughs> it's not floating nowhere. So what continent or, or you know what general region would you place uh, the country? So let me know. I mean, let yourself know. But uh, let me know if anything y'all come across that really don't fit logically. I mean, like I say, the whole Africa thing not being in, I mean, the whole Israel thing not being in Africa is very, I don't think that's a good look. Because uh, if you go on any map, whether however you view the map, the equidistant African muffin, whatever whatever that map is called, the UN map, or the map where everything is upside down, or the map that shows Africa's true size in comparison to the rest of the world, whatever map you're looking at, it's gonna show Israel in Africa. And it makes sense. Just think about it. Who, where is the Bible taking place? It's dealing with Africans and it's dealing with so-called Middle Easterns. So, how can Israel, where is Israel then? That's the thing I'm talking about when I'm talking about logic. Like, why is we, why is that something that's being perpetuated? Why is that something that's being taught in Africa, that Israel is not in Africa? Everybody can go look at the map. Now, you see how plain and simple that is for some people. But for some people, it's not. And it's other things. And I'm looking at it like, yo, how much sense did that make? But you can't talk about everything. Because then, then you're going to lose your sight. You're going to lose your mission, your mission statement. You come out here just to get the people to serve them on high. So... That's what we on. I keep the phone up close, man, so y'all can hear me when he be blowing. But uh, yeah, so that's the mission statement to get people to see the most high. So you really, you, you could even believe Africa, uh, Israel is not on uh, on the African continent, and that wouldn't stop me from dealing with you. But when you teaching that Israel is just nowhere. And that's that's kind of an issue. Like, you know, somebody asks you, you like, oh no, it don't belong nowhere. You know, it's kinda it's kinda it's kinda stupid. To say the least. Cause it gotta be somewhere. Everywhere is somewhere. But that's that's just one thing, man, and, and just, just really think about a lot of these teachers and doctrines logic on it if you're really not sure you make the logic. your eyes can't fail you your hands can't fail you your ears your 
nose can't fail you unless your brain is telling everything you don't believe what it's doing. If you're rubbing a dog, you're convinced that you're rubbing a dog. Unless you tell yourself, I don't want this to be a dog, I want this to be something else. But it's a stupid thing. But that's what we're doing. Logic, man. I think we lack logic. We lack in this ability. Or we ignore this ability to put one plus one together. I had made a post that said one plus one is, is actually 11. But one, two ones, it was 11. You know, just being silly. But uh, that's how people think. They see two ones and they just turn it to 11. When it's just two, it's just one plus another one. And you have two. I don't know, but that's how I see a lot of these people. Thought process. For the satisfaction of whoever. Like I say, a lot of people, a lot of people don't want to deal with reality because it kind of, it's kind of stopped them from doing, from being perfect. They want an excuse not to be perfect. So they don't deal with reality. So they rather believe all these things that can stop you from being perfect instead of just being perfect. Yeah, man. I'm just uh, trying to figure out better ways to serve the most high. And you can't talk to people can't talk to everybody with with with, with irrational thoughts, man. So me trying to be as down to earth as possible because I know coming into this thing you get kind of otherworldly, but still gotta bring it on back. Come on back down. Really, you know, it's just. It's just simple things. And then we get mad at people who are thinking, who are living in reality. Some of these things we have never seen that we teach, we have never seen them. We have never seen them. Never experienced them. And it just don't apply to what we read. It just don't. But we still do it. But I'm in the, I'm in the, uh, I'm in the, uh, the place where, uh, where I mean, it's, it don't make no sense to teach something that does not have a reality base, that, that does not have a reality basis. Oh. Yeah, so, I don't know, I can't see no comments. I don't know if you're a comment or not. Shalawan. Shalawan, hear me out. Let's see what you said. Blackberries and blueberries. Okay. Matter of fact, we got some blueberries at the house. I'm about to eat the whole container now. Nah, appreciate it. Go home. Eat the container. I mean, the whole container. I'm going to go gobble it. Good looking. Good looking. Good looking. And I heard, like, pineapple. Was it pineapples? I heard something, was, like, good for your back. I don't know. Like, I don't know. But I'm, I'm definitely going to take that advice right there. Especially because we got something at the crib. My wife be baking, so we always keep fruits around the house. You know, she likes to use fresh fruits and, and you know hook up the dessert. So yeah, that's another thing too, man. Manna sweets. We uh we in our what was your fifth year? Fifth year, man. Fourth year, fourth year, fourth year, going strong. 
a lot of people were supporting. We did set up a go for me. We was trying to get some loans. We did the proper steps. But it's gonna be pretty tough for us to get one. There's a lot of things we have to go through. So we set up a GoFundMe to help support the idea. Uh, and hopefully maybe in the next two, two years, three years, we can get a loan, get a, get a decent sized loan. And hopefully, you know, enough people donate or we can put all the money together. We're going to save like we've been saving, at least trying to. And hopefully, man, next three, three, four years, we have us a store, you know, and everything comes from seeking the kingdom. So, you know, with the store, we'll be able to hire brothers and sisters, you know, in the walk and, and you know, help promote the whole, the whole idea of serving the most high. And the best way to help people and, and help people in their endeavors is to feed them. Give them work, give them jobs, decent jobs, no crazy wages. So that's what we want to do. We got the talent to do it. So that's what we serve, searching for, man, to uh, be able to build something out of, out of our talents and skills. And that's what Price was mentioning to me, I think. When he was telling them brothers, like, look, you got, you got the talent. Got the talent to go do something. Now go do it and bring me back some. So we got the talent. We got the know-how. We just need, you know, just a little assistance. Uh, I can't build a nation with two people. I can't build a community with two people. We need the community to all say, let's build a community. And it ain't hard. I had seen the uh, the article, right? Kaylee Kaylee Jenner or whatever her name is, she got some makeup company, and she made nine hundred million dollars, nine hundred million. So, people set up a GoFundMe to give her a hundred million dollars, so she can be a billionaire. And I said to myself, man, that is some dumbass stuff. <laughs> Excuse my language, but then I realized that. No, you know. Maybe we should think like that. Maybe we should support each other. Help a person build something. And then that other person help another person build something. And then we just build everything. Everything we need can be right there. I mean, research it. We got the most money. We spend the most money, but we don't make the most money. Which don't add up. So something is very wrong. Uh, and also, you know, I believe in the scripture where it say, you know, seek another man as well. So every turn I get, I'm sharing people's uh, ideas and inventions. And I'm trying to work with brothers and sisters. And you know, build this community. And then build a nation. But yeah, it's real fun. Be patient. You gotta be patient. You gotta have, you gotta surround yourself around people who at least want to do something bigger than themselves. I mean, because I sat back, we sat back, thought about it. we like, yo, we want people to, you know, set up the nation, man. Why people ain't making stores? People got money. People in Israel got money to open up stores and do this and do that. But what nobody really doing it. So we said, well, look, we already got us a small business. Uh, we just need a little assistance, open up the door, get our people in. And that be that. We got the most hot bless. Because when I read Deuteronomy 28, I used to start at 15. But now I start at 1. I'm reading 1 through 14. And he said all the things he would bless us in if we kept his commandments. So. And poverty is a curse. And if you're not, uh, uh, if you're keeping the commandments, if you're keeping the laws, then you shouldn't be cursed can't be cursed so that's how I look at it I don't look at it as we have to keep the commandments and still be cursed because I don't feel cursed sometimes <laughs> I'm like yo all praise in the most I feel liberated but you know 
I think as a community, if we come together and do that and and, and surround ourselves around people who want to help other people, that's the goal. Everybody want to eat. I want to eat, but I cannot look on my side and see some people not eating. And I'm eating lovely. I'm eating the best lamb you ever saw. And you over there eating ruffles with hot sauce on them. Nah. I don't like that idea. So, that's what we want to do, man. Build this community here in Cleveland. We, we was looking for places. And, uh, and we just couldn't get along. Like I said, we went to classes. We, 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 did, the, we did everything properly, you know, according to how you know, society wants you to do things. So, all we need now, man, we got the talent, got the know-how, we just like the money. So that's what we own. I mean, it's been up and down for us, for everybody. And we can kill that, we can kill that up and down. Solomon said it. He said money answer of all things. Because he, he was rich. He knew if he wanted to go save somebody, he could just pop up with some gold plates. And everybody in that poor village is good. So that's our whole idea, man. But we can't help nobody completely. Help us feeding the homeless tomorrow, and that's something we need to stay on too. But we want to give them jobs, help them feed themselves. We only can feed them once a week, or, or a few times out the week, without jeopardizing ourselves. And uh, yeah, man, we want to give people jobs, man. The old saying, you know, you, you know give a man a fish, you can eat that day, teach him how to fish, you good for life. So that's that's scripture. So oh, that's what we on on that note. If anybody was wondering, so we're just trying to make this into an empire. Empire, man, bring it back the kingdom. And, and when I read, the kingdom is not by observation, meaning you ain't gonna watch this thing fall from the sky. He said the kingdom in you. So what sense does it make for us to be just standing around, hoping for somebody else to do something? Well, we got our little ability. So, that's what we at with it. And y'all pray for it. We're hoping we can pull this off soon. Oh, I remember back to it. All right, y'all, I'm out. Shalom. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Now I'm out.